all my life, I've been very ignorant of one major issue that we're all going through, climate change, the maintenance and the safety of the, the same land we walk on, the same air that we breathe, the same water we drink. When I was around 10 years old, I threw away a single plastic bottle outside my school. The, for the next week, every day, I used to go to my home and I used to see the same plastic bottle with some other waste. And I was in the sixth grade. I was studying about plastics and electronic waste and how we should decompose them properly. But it didn't affect me at all. The one thing that kept bugging me all along was that one plastic bottle that I kept seeing. One day, I, I got fed up and I decided to take it home with me. And I was, at, I was 10 at the time, I didn't have a phone or something else to distract me on the way. So I thought about what would actually happen to that plastic bottle. I would throw it away at home, the garbage man would come, take it away. And then he'd put it in some huge landfill with a ton of other waste, which would harm the environment more which would add more chemicals into the earth and just take up more space. And why should I care is what I thought. I'm going to die in a few years anyways. It's extreme, but I'm sure a lot of you guys and a lot of people on this earth must have thought the same thing at some point. But the real question is, if we can see effects and if we can see consequences right now, then what are we waiting for? More people to suffer, more species to get extinct, temperatures to rise even further, more lakes to get polluted. The truth is that we have to make a change and we have to make it as soon as possible. Let's compare the environment to the human body. If we don't take care of it, if we don't nurture it, it will suffer and it will die. Pollution, it, it's a cancer because it spreads and it harms our environment and it makes life harder to live for all of us. If I gave you one room for the rest of your life, would you not keep it clean? Would you not make sure there's proper ventilation? You're, would you not make sure you're getting clean water, proper food? Why can't we do the same for our planet? It is our home after all. And for all of you adults, this is a youth event and I can be the voice of our future. And I can tell you that when we study in the sixth grade in our geography books that plastics and global warming and the polar ice caps melting are going to be very bad for us, then we get scared. Not because we're finding out about it now, but simply because we don't know what to do about it. And people a hundred years ago, they polluted the earth a lot and we can see the effects of that right now. So why don't we just plant a tree, throw away less waste, recycle, reuse? It's very, very simple. And in, in the future, we know that, and when I read, I read about temperatures rising and air pollution becoming so much that it's, it's hard to even live anymore. And I get scared and I get concerned, not, not as a student or as a future parent or as someone's child, but as a human being, I get concerned because I don't want to live in a world that's so close to collapsing and I don't want to live on a planet that's suffering because of us. All we need to do is realize that instead of looking to colonize another planet, we need to focus on the fact that our Earth is crying for help and it's crying for a revolution and we need to provide it with exactly that. And the fact that there is no planet B for us to go on to means that we need to go with the plan. There's so many big industries, so many governments, so many corporations that have come up with sustainable methods. There's pe implement, people implementing plans to make the earth greener, zero carbon emissions. There's stuff like electricity depending on fossil fuels so much lesser. And all we need to do is just do our part and go with the flow. And when we think about the f how throwing away one packet isn't going to make much of a difference. We need to know that it is because what we're doing is doing our part and simply being part of the big plan. And what we need to realize is that now is the time to put environment care, not in our wish list, but in our to-do list. And now is the time to make a difference. Now is the time to make a change. 
and now is the time to make the whole world a much better place to live in. Thank you. Thank you.